All right, kind of just quit picking and continuing, uh, you know, dealing with these afflictions and how the Lord is going to get them. Matter of fact, Baruch 4.31, mm -hmm. miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoiced at thy fall. The Lord said, they miserable. And that affliction that they afflicted you, they can come back on them double, man. All right. Go ahead. You got something? Mm -mm. Uh, right. I was going to probably get, because, um, nah, I, I was, I was about to look at, I was looking at something. Nah, I didn't really have nothing else. I was going to read that one that you quoted, though, that Revelations, uh, the Revelations 3 and 11 says, Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Hey, and ultimately, man, hey, the only person that can take you out this fight is yourself, man. You know, hey, because, um, hey, the Heavenly Father, you know, I mean, it's, can't nobody else take you out, you know, and can't nobody else make you fight, and can't nobody else uh, take you out, man, you know, so... When the people afflict you, hey, the Lord told us that surely in the last days it's going to be scoffers, man. So you know that these these people are haters of the Lord. They hate the Lord. And we mm -hmm. out here teaching the Lord's words. These are not our words. These are not our ways. That's right. Shit, if I could have shit my way, I would do it a whole totally different way. I'd be living and, a whole totally different life. And, no, and, yeah, and this place would totally be worse. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. For real, man. You know, if I could have it my way. Hey, but we really, hey, when you are um, being that example, you know, uh, of what, uh, of righteousness, man, hey, these, the people, they hate that, man. So that's why they, 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 they add the extra affliction unto you. Hey, ultimately, hey, you know. They're hey, miserable. Like the scripture said, they're miserable. Yeah. So they, you know what, people, was it misery loves what? Company. Company. Want, you, if I'm miserable, you're going to be miserable too. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yep. This is um, uh, Zephaniah. 3 and uh, 12, I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of Yahweh. We we are trusting in Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, through our afflictions, all right? Knowing that partially of them are, uh, are we're toning, and the other part is that we got to suffer wrongfully, all right? Verse 19, behold, at that time will I undo all that afflicted thee, and I will save her that halteth, and gather her that was driven out, and I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. So, all these motherfuckers who, yeah, 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 if your parents came against you, the Lord's gonna set you up and give you praise, and they're gonna see it with a with a great amount of shame. If your children uh, um, did not obey you and, and they dipped off and, and did them and said, fuck pops, fuck moms. Uh, and then the Lord sets your ass up. They're going to see it. Your wife, your husband, your spouse, all right? If you holding the line and you're doing what the Lord say do, if you as a woman if, or a man, a God, and these women or men are coming against you, the Lord is going to exalt you and they're going to see their, their, their shame and your fame. All right. These heathens, he said, they're going to they're going to say uh, the strangeness of our salvation. They're like, oh, wow, I don't believe this. The guy that we, we, we call it as nothing as this piece of shite. And the Lord is going to be saying, oh, yep, yep. That's the one he's this is this is Elijah. Oh, this is this is Paul. This is Peter. This is whoever who's who, you know, what I'm saying. And look, they're gonna, that 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 fame is going to be elevate them. All right. And that shame is going to inundate all the wicked. All right, the heathens, all right, to the two thirtyans, man. So you, 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 I don't care what situation you're in. The Lord said He's He's going to bless you, and get all those who afflict you. Okay, and He's not only going to bless you a little bit. He said, "I'm going to give you fame in every land where thou has been put to shame." And guess what? We've been in every land. We've been spread spread out to the four corners, scattered to the four corners of the earth. And let's not forget what the scripture said. Uh, every place where our souls shall tread shall be yours. So guess what? All of this is ours. And right now we have no, like the scripture said, we have no continuing city. We have no inheritance. Lord, is this is what, uh, how, uh, how's the world made for our sake? And we don't have no inheritance within it. That's scripture. So the Lord has to right all these wrong. Otherwise, he's not a righteous power. That's right. And guess what? He is a righteous power. And when you say things like, yeah, that he got to do it, otherwise he want to bam, that makes him want to go um, even harder, you know, because he, 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 his, his word is perfect and his love is perfect. All right. And he got us, man. All right. Can we end it up on this? Mm -hmm. I mean, unless you have something else. Uh, this first Peter chapter five, uh, verse six. Um, yeah. Well said, Elder. Um, 
It says, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty, the mighty hand of Yahweh, that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. Uh -huh. See, so like the brother was saying, man, hey, hey, the Lord cares for you. So like, it, like the scripture said, hey, how about Shemia Asha cares for you, man? You know, but you got to believe that he cares for you. And you got to you gotta still do what you got to do so he can continue to care for you. Sorry. You know? So, hey, man, the Heavenly Father going to exalt us in due time, man. We're going to get our time. And I got one more. Isaiah mm -hmm. 60, 14. Mm -hmm. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. Mm -hmm. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. So the Lord is going to right all these wrongs. All we had to do was continue to do what the Lord say do. Continue to repent. Continue to do the work. Continue to uh, magnify his name, live it in the presence of the brothers and in absence of the brothers. Because the Lord sees his eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. He sees it all. Keep living right for the Lord and the Lord is going to show and approve you in that day. So hopefully this has been edifying through the spirit and power. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash. Um, the Lord is bringing more lessons on this vibration too. Or, you know, gird up. Don't worry about the shit that's about to happen. Yeah, you, we got, I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. He said, my servant shall eat. So we must believe. And if we believe and endure to the end, we shall be saved. So with that, we're going to say all praises and non glory to Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, Basham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles out in New York, a great millstone of GMS. Honors to all Achim around the planet, lifting up the name of Yahweh, but Yahweh, Shai, in truth and sincerity. With that, we're going to say Shalom and Abba Babal. Abba Babal. Till next time.